restore internet access. Uh, my name is Lewis Marquardt. I work for Micro Center in Westbury, Long Island, uh, near New York City. If you are unable to connect to the internet, you may be able to restore normal internet access by reinstalling drivers and or resetting Internet Explorer to factory default settings. Before making any changes to your computer, verify that the problem is not caused by other equipment such as your modem or router. Turn your modem and router off, wait 15 seconds, and then turn the equipment back on. Give the modem and router enough time to complete startup processing and then re-attempt to connect. If internet access is still unavailable, you should try to connect to a router at another location, such as the library, your local micro center store, or any similar hotspot. To try to, to connect to the internet wirelessly, click the network icon located in the tray at the bottom right corner of your screen. And double click the SSID or system set identifier transmitted by the router to which you wish to connect. After the connection has been established, start your browser and your home page should appear. The router in this location is Belkin 54G. I'll double click that and uh, hopefully we'll get a good connection. We're still waiting for an IP address. And this is not an uncommon problem. Uh, I probably need to reset that router. So if you're still unable to access the internet, you can reinstall drivers for your network adapters. You will find your network adapters using Device Manager, which is loaded as follows. And now we do have internet access on, on the wireless connection here. But in case you don't, click Start in the lower left uh, corner of your screen. Right click Computer. Click Properties. Click Device Manager. When Device Manager opens, look for Network Adapters. And click the arrow at the left of the entry to show the items in that category. Next, right click each listed network adapter. And then click Uninstall. You may receive a warning that you are about to uninstall the adapter and you must click OK. Do not delete the software for the device. After all network adapters are uninstalled, click Action and select Scan for Hardware Changes from the drop-down menu. Windows will detect the network adapters and reinstall the driver software for each of them. If any drivers are not located by Windows, they must be downloaded from the vendor who manufactured the computer. This is a free download and I will demonstrate how these drivers are typically downloaded. All vendor websites are not identical, but they are similar in that you click support, followed by drivers and downloads, and then identify your computer. For example, I will demonstrate how to download drivers from the Hewlett Packard website. You will need a computer that has internet access and a flash drive to transport the downloaded driver to the target computer. First, start your browser. I recommend Internet Explorer. And enter uh, hp.com into the address bar at the top of the window. hp.com. Press enter to load the website and then click support and drivers. We're waiting for hp.com support and drivers. When the requested page loads, click drivers and software and then enter the product name number of your computer. For example, Pavilion ZE2308. Drivers and software and I'm entering Pavilion ZE2308. and search. If more than one match is found, select the correct one to load the next web page and you will be directed to select your operating system 
before clicking next, I'll select the EA, ZE2308 EA, and we're waiting for the next page to load. Uh, we're selecting the operating system now, and if you have any doubts about which operating system is on the target computer, click start using the, op the target computer. Right click computer, start, right click computer, click properties, and the basic information about your computer is displayed. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to select Windows XP. and the available drivers are then displayed. Click the plus sign located to the left of Network Drivers. Driver Network. To see which drivers are available for download. Some Pavilion ZE2308 computers were manufactured using the Intel wireless adapters and others used Broadcom. The only way to determine which one you have is to download one of the drivers and if it installs properly, you're finished. Otherwise, download and install the other one. We are selecting the Intel Pro wireless driver. By clicking the blue hyperlink and on the next page, we will click sp33636.exe to begin the download process. Select Save when asked whether to run or save the file. And browse to the flash drive to sp specify the destination of the save and the download will begin. When the download is completed, carry the flash drive to the target computer and install the driver by double clicking the saved file. When all the drivers are installed, try connecting to the router again. If the computer is still unable to connect, try restarting the computer and try again. When an internet connection has been established, start Internet, internet Explorer and your homepage should appear. If you get a message stating that Internet Explorer cannot locate the web page, First verify that you're trying to connect to a valid URL, Uniform Resource Locator, by attempting to connect to an available website such as Google.com. If Internet Explorer still fails to connect, try resetting the browser to factory defaults. Do this by starting the Internet Explorer browser, then click Tools, Internet Options, and click the Advanced tab and click reset. After this, this completes, you will need to restart Internet Explorer. And after you restart Internet Explorer, you should now be able to browse the Internet. If you are still unable to access websites, you may need to recover your operating system to factory settings by doing a factory system restore. Because the fa factory system recovery will erase your personal data, such as music, pictures, documents, videos, and so on, you may wish to save this data on a flash drive or external hard drive before starting recovery. Recovery can be accomplished using factory system recovery disks that may have come with your computer, or you can contact your computer vendor to obtain these disks. Many computers have a recovery partition on the hard drive that can be accessed by keying the appropriate keys after turning on your computer. For example, if you have an Acer computer, turn on your computer and press Alt and F10 simultaneously and repeatedly. Sometimes it may require several attempts before you're able to activate the recovery partition. Below is a list of several compu popular computer vendors and the keys used to activate the recovery process. Acer uses Alt and F10. Asus uses F8 and then select Repair Your Computer from the menu that appears. Dell uses F8 and select Repair Your Computer. 
E-Machines and Gateway are the same. F8 and select repair your computer. Hewlett Packard uses F11. Sony uses F10. Toshiba uses F8 and repair your computer. Lenovo uh, uses a, a special key usually located uh, on the computer or laptop. If your computer is not on the list, do a Google search for the vendor name followed by the word recovery. Uh, for example, let's do Lenovo. L-E-N-O-V-O. Lenovo recovery. Rescue and recovery. And you, you, we <laughs> we got 42 million hits on this. So one of the first few hits. Uh, and I prefer those from a, a website such as support.lenovo.com, uh, which will give you all the information you need about how to do the recovery. After completion of the recovery process, if there are no hardware problems, your computer will be able to access the internet. Thank you very much, uh, and have a good day.